sports fans and baseball fans, Stratomatic baseball fans, the game you've been waiting for. Well, it's another game in the World Series of 2005, and it's going to be between, as we have established in the past, the 2005 Angels and the 2005 Houston Astros. And as you remember, the Astros actually did make the World Series in 2005, but the Angels, in reality, were eliminated by the White Sox. But in my postseason replay of 2005, the Angels beat out the White Sox. And so here we are in Game 3. Game 3 sees this series tied at one apiece, each team with one win, and now we are in Houston. And you know what that means. That means that the pitcher is batting. There are no DHs in this game. And so, with all of that taken care of, we will get underway with the game. And actually, I need another die, don't I? Yes, I do. All right, so here we go. The uh, lineup for the Angels will stay essentially the same as it has been. And so they will lead off with Sean Figgins. And the pitchers today, <clears throat> for the Angels, it's going to be Paul Bird. And he is out on the mound right now finishing his warm-up throws. And for uh, the Houston Astros will be Andy Pettit. In 2005, Bird was 12 and 11 with a 374 earned run average, and Andy Pettit was 17 and 9 with a 239. So Sean Figgins is up. He gets a 3-5, and that is going to be a strikeout, one away. Next batter is Garrett Anderson, and he gets a six, and that's a 5-6, and um, that is going to be, or wait a minute, no, Paul Bird wasn't the one warming up, it was Andy Pettit. And a 5-6 is a fly ball to center field, he is the home pitcher, so he was the one that's out there pitching. And um, Garrett Anderson, was that was Garrett Anderson, and he was out, and it's Vlad Guerrero up right now, and that is a 4-7, and that is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman, who is a 4, and that is an 18, so let's see what happens on 18-4. And my charts are over here. 18-4 at second is an out. I guess I'd better lay them right here or somewhere where I can get to them. So the uh, Angels go 1-2-3 in the first inning and in fact you know what I'm gonna ditch the tower because you can probably see the dice better although this is a bird's eye view I know but you know my setup has had to undergo changes so no runs for the Angels in the first we go to the bottom of the first and Willie Tavares is up he gets a 2-7 and that's going to be a single Willie Tavares is aboard and he is a speedy one. He is a stealing A, and uh, they're going to try to steal with him. He gets a five, and so he does steal second. Willie Tavares is at second with Biggio up. And that is a four seven, and a four seven on Bird is a single double asterisk and knocks in a run, and one run comes across. And so now you have uh, Lance Berkman up. Still no outs, and it's a 4-10. That is a ground ball to third. The third baseman today is Dallas McPherson, and he is a four. And that is a two. That's going to be big. That is going to be big. That's going to be a single two. So runners are now at the corners, and that brings Morgan Ensberg up. One run already in for Houston. And no outs. And that is a 6-7. That is a fly ball right field B, but it'll score the runner on third. And there is one out. That's the second run, and Jason Lane comes up. He gets an, a 1-9, and that's going to be a strikeout. There's two down. And Orlando Palmero gets a 4-11, and 4-11 on Bird's card is a fly left. And the left fielder... I believe is 
a three. Yes, that's what I thought. And that is a nine, and that is going to be big too. You know that. Nine three is going to be a double three. And so that's the third run and a double. And the uh, Angels defense is really letting them down here. And that brings up, um, was that Orlando Primero one? I think that brings up Osmus. And he gets a 3-7. And that is going to be a fly ball to left. And that is the second, that's only the second out. Yep, that's the second, I think that's the second out. No, that's the third out. There was a strikeout. So that is the third out. And uh, uh, two runs come in. Was it two? Man, I should have had a score sheet. But anyway, I think two runs came in for the Angels on, uh, with all of that. I'm going to say two. And... Uh, Benji Molina is up to lead off the top of the second. It is a 1-3. That's a ground ball second base, one away. McPherson, who made a key error last inning, last half inning, gets a strikeout plus injury, and it's a 17, and so he is going to be out of the game anyway. And that will be the second out. And now they need a new third baseman. And they are going to put Mazer is Turris in at third base. And now Erstad is batting Darren Erstad. And that is a 6-4. And it is going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. The third baseman is a 2, I believe. That's Ensberg, And he is a 2. That's a 19, and 19 and 2 is going to be roll again. 7 and 2 is an out. So, um, so that that is the uh, inning for the Angels. They score no runs again. Adam Everett is up. Adam Everett is batting against Bird. Bird is still out there. 4-4 four, four is going to be a fly to center. Center fielder for the um, Angels is Finley, and he is a 2. And uh, I don't know if I rolled this, so I'm going to roll it now. 17-2 is an out one. I mean, I'm all kinds of discombobulated here doing this in the morning, first thing in the morning. Uh, the pitcher is up, and that will be Andy Pettit. And he gets a 6-5, and that's going to be a ground ball second second base, and so he is out. And that brings up Willie Tavares, and he gets a 1-10, and he pops out to third. So the uh, Astros get no runs after getting two in the first. And... That brings the Angels to the plate and uh, Orlando Cabrera batting against Pettit. And that is a 5-5 and that will be a strikeout. One away. Bird is up. They're going to let him bat. It's only 2-0. 3-7 uh, is going to be or three seven is going to be a ground ball to second base. He's out. Two away. And Sean Figgins. Gets a four-five. Now I'm starting to get into the roll, into the swing of things, and that's going to be a ground ball to second base, and no runs come across, and uh, the Angels have zero. Still, we go to the bottom of the third with the Astros ahead two nothing. Biggio up. He gets a one eleven at the ground ball second base. One away. Lance Berkman. Gets a 4-10, and that is a ground ball to the third baseman. Mazer is Turris is the new third baseman, and he is a 3, and that is a 10. 10-3 ten is an out. 
So that's two down. And it brings up Morgan Ensberg, who gets a 6-9. And that is a triple one to four or a double. And it is going to be a double. So with a man on second, Jason Lane comes up to the plate. He gets a 6-8, and that is going to be a pop-out to first base. So um, they got in a little bit of trouble there, but they got out of it. There was a man at second. But Houston couldn't score them, and so we're going to the top of the fourth in a 2 nothing game. Garrett Anderson, the batter for the Angels. He gets a 6-6, six, six, and that is a strikeout, one out. Garrett, or wait a minute, no, that was, uh, that was Garrett Anderson. 1-8 is uh, for Vlad Guerrero is a double one, to, is a double. It is a double. It's a what, double one to 13, and that was a roll of 12. Man at second, <clears throat> one out, Molina up. He gets a 3-6. That's a double one, single double asterisk, and it's going to be a single double asterisk and knock in a run. And so the Angels have a run, and they've cut into that lead. It's 2-1. to one. Major as tourist coming on for the injured Dallas McPherson gets a foul out to the catcher, and there's two down. And that brings up Erstad. And Erstad gets a 2-9, which is a fly ball to right field. So... The Angels do strike for a run right there, and it is two to one. With Orlando Palmero at the plate, close game, batting against Pettit, and he gets a 3 7, which is a double one, but it's going to be a single instead. So Palmero is aboard at first base. Brad Osmus up. He gets a 1-9. That is a single. They're just going to play station to station right now. Adam Everett up. He gets a 4-2, and that is a pop-out to first base. One away. Or wait a minute. 4-2 is a line-out to first base. One away, and the pitcher is up. They're going to let Pat Pettit hit. He gets a 3-6. That is going to be a double play. Ground ball to the shortstop. And that ends the inning. And uh, Houston gets no runs. We go to the top of the fifth. And in the top of the fifth, the first batter is Steve Finley to greet Andy Pettit. He gets a 1-7. That's a ground ball to third. One away. Orlando Cabrera. Gets a 5-6. That is a fly ball center field. Two away. And the pitcher, Paul Bird. They're still going to let him hit. It's still a very close game, and he gets a strikeout. So they're retired 1-2-3. No runs in the fifth for the Angels. Quick game moving right along because there isn't a lot of scoring, and that brings up Willie Tavares, who gets a 3-5, and that is a fly ball. One away. Biggio gets a 5-4, and uh, that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop is, I believe he's a 2, but let's check it out. He is a 2, and that is a 7, and so that is an out. And that brings up Lance Berkman, the B, one of the killer Bs. And he gets a 3-4, and that is a fly ball to left field. He's out. You might recall um, for the World Series, the DH for the Astros was um, going to be um, Bagwell. But there is no DH in this particular game, and they opted to go with Berkman at first base. Sean Figgins will lead it off, um, and he is their traditional leadoff batter this game. And he will bat against Pettit. He gets a 6-4, and that is a ground ball to the third baseman. That's Morgan Ensberg. He's a 2. That's a 12. That's going to be something. They're going to get aboard with a one-base error. Ensberg making an uh, infrequent error. And uh, he is a stealing double A, so he is definitely going to try to steal second in this close game. And he does make it. 12 won't get anybody thrown out, who is a double A at least. And that brings Garrett Anderson to the plate. And that is a 5-4. And that is going to be a catcher card. And it's a 4. Um, the catcher for the, um, for the uh, uh, 
Astros is Osmus, and he is a one. So let's see what a one four gets him, and that's an out four. And I think that means runners, runners hold, yeah. So one down. And um, Vlad Guerrero up. They need a home run from him. They don't look like they're going to get it. 4-7 is a ground ball to the second baseman. Though he's a 4. That's a 6. That's going to be something big. 6-4 is a single 1. So that's going to put runners at the corners with only one out. They're going to play the infield back with Molina up. That is a 5-2. It's a ground ball B. And that was a bad decision because the... Uh, Runner is safe at first. Man was thrown out at second, and the runner in the run scores to tie the game. And uh, that brings up Major as Turris, and he gets a four-five, <coughs> and that is a ground ball to second base. So that's the end of the inning, but it is a tie game. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Morgan Ensberg is the batter in the bottom of the sixth. He gets a 3-2, which is a fly ball A. Would have been great if somebody had been on base, particularly on third, but nobody was on. 4-5 is uh, ground ball to the shortstop. He's a 2. That's a 15. Let me see. Nope, that's an out. And with two down, very quickly, um, that brings up Orlando Palmero. And he gets a 3-5, which is a triple. It is a triple. So, Palmero... Ripping a triple between the outfielders, and Houston is threatening again with Osmus up, and he gets a 4-6, and that is going to be a single and knock in the go-ahead run again for Houston, and that brings Adam Everett to the plate, or is, was that, no, that brings the pitcher up, and uh, that is going to be uh, Pettit, and he gets a 4-12, which is a fly ball B. So... <clears throat> Houston gets the go-ahead run in the sixth. We go to the top of the seventh with Erstad batting. Both pitchers are really, you got to say that both pitchers are pitching pretty well. Erstad gets a 2-6, and that is a walk. So you got an angel aboard. His speed, let's check it. It's a B. You know what? They're going to try it. And he does make it. He's a seven. That he rolled a seven, so no way a B gets thrown out. Finley is up. That's a three eight, and that's going to be a strikeout. One away. Orlando Cabrera gets a two four, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. Two away, and that brings up the pitcher, Paul Bird, with a man at second. They are going to pinch hit for Paul Bird right here. They're going to take him out. And they're done with that. So, let's see. They're going to pinch hit Casey Kochman, who has been playing first base for most of the series. He gets a 4-6, and that is going to be a strikeout. So the uh, Angels threaten, but they don't get a run. They got a man as far as second, but they didn't get him in. And Willie Tavares is up for Houston in the bottom of the seventh, and we do have to have a new pitcher for the Angels. The new Angels pitcher will be Esteban Yan. Esteban Yan in 2005 was 1-1 one one with a 459 earned run average. And he will face Willie Tavares who gets a 2-6 and it is a single. And you know Willie Tavares is going to go to second. And he was just an A and he is gunned because the catcher 
is Molina, and Molina gets him. So Biggio is up. There is one down now, and that's a 5-10, which is a, a fly ball to center, and he is a 2. That's a 10. 10-2 ten and two in the outfield is an out right between two on-base possibilities, and Berkman is the batter, and he gets a 5-11, which is a fly to right, and the right fielder is Jason Lane, and let's see what he is. I think he's... I don't even want to speculate. Let's see. Or wait a minute. Um, the right fielder is... Um, is actually Vlad, and he is a 2. That's a 12. I believe that's an out, and it is. So there, no runs come in for the Astros. We go to the top of the 8th. And Sean Figgins is up. Pettit's still out there because he's pitching great. And that is a 4-9. But that's uh, going to be a double. And uh, you've got a double. You've got a leadoff double by Figgins. You would think they would try to sacrifice him over with Anderson, but they're not. He's too good of a hitter. He gets a 1-9, though, and it's a fly ball right field. B. One down and Vlad Guerrero up. And he gets a 2-7. And that's a ground ball third base. A. So nobody uh, advances, and Benji Molina's up. He gets a 5-5, five, five, and that is a strikeout. So I don't know that even advancing the runner would have helped them there, but we go to the bottom of the eighth in a game where the Astros are ahead in game three of a tied World Series, and they're ahead 3-2. to two. I don't know how much tighter you could have wanted it. Ensberg comes up, he gets a 4-7 off of Jan, and that's a walk. Jason Lane is up, he gets a 3-6, that's a strikeout, one out. M Orlando Palmero gets a 6-4, that is going to be a fly ball to right field, and that's an out, two away, and Osmus up. He gets a 1-9, that's a single. Could go an extra base, but they're not. They're going to play it station to station with Adam Everett up. And he gets a 4-9, and that is going to be a strikeout. And Jan is doing his job. He's shutting them down. But we're in the top of the ninth right here. And the Angels have got to have one run to tie the game. And Pettit has been throwing BBs, so he's out there still. Mesa is Torres. Gets a ground ball to short. There's one away. Dur Darren Erstad up with one down. He gets a 5-7. That's a line out to shortstop. And that brings up Steve Finley. It's all up to Steve Finley. And he gets a 3-6, which is going to be a single. So Steve Finley is aboard. And that brings up Orlando Cabrera. They pretty much have to let him hit. And he gets a 1-6, which is a walk. There's two runners on with two down. And the pitcher up. And they are not going to let the pitcher hit in this situation. They will go to the bench and try to get somebody who can hit at all. You know what they're going to do? They're going to pinch hit Josh Paul. The all or nothing Josh Paul. In 2005, he had 37 at bats and two home runs. But he only hit 189. So it's all or nothing right here. And he gets a 3-6 and that is a strikeout. And the Angels have lost and that means that the Astros take a uh, two games to one lead. And even if I messed up that first inning and the Astros really scored three runs, instead of two, they still won the game by the score of 3-2. Uh, to two. By my count, it would only have been 4-2. to two. Yeah, if that um, inning had been messed up, but I think I caught my second wind a little later on and was doing it pretty much correctly. So that's your final. Astros win Game 3 of the 2005 World Series by the score of 3-2 over the Angels.